I'd like someone to please call Amazon and tell Jeff that while I'm recording my podcast, getting an unwelcome Amazon solicitation email is not cool. No, I'm, I'm a fan of the Kindle. I love the Kindle. I love what Amazon's done. People are angry at Jeff Bezos for ostensibly being evil. I, the, the guy's done us a lot of favors in the world. And one of the things that he's done is he's, he's put, uh, you know, brick and mortar bookstores out of business. And he's helped us all get over to the digital world. So that's a good thing. I, you know, I mean, they're a big heavy roller. Amazon, I have my run-ins with them. I mean, I push my publications through Smashwords. I have, uh, I call them beta reads, but I've got like 15, some, maybe more eBooks at Smashwords and, you know, Amazon.com says, no, we're not doing anything until you've sold a thousand or had a thousand downloads or whatever. So, okay. All right. So, okay. I won't work with them, but, uh, you know, I have kind of a friendly banter thing going on with Amazon. But getting emails in the middle of the podcast that I don't want, I get those solicited, you know, the, you get the Kindle app, you know, you, you install it on your phone and it, 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 it's always annoying you with stuff. And it's like, I don't want to buy this. If I want to buy a book, I'll go to Amazon. They're the best and only, basically. I know Sony's still out there, but it's like, I mean, I blocked the app. I blocked the Amazon app from giving no, notifications. I mean, I've never seen a single notification of the Amazon app that I wanted. So there, that's my friendly banter about Amazon. Now let's talk about Apple. Artificial intelligence. I think that's Apple's future. Now, my problem with artificial intelligence, I, I, I know you can hear that the, the paper with nothing on it is sounding more like a cloth because I rattle the thing around week after week. And I, maybe I need a new one. Let's get a new, let's get a new empty paper to, to rattle around here. What's, uh, there, new, new empty paper to rattle on. No, it's got Chinese on it from my practicing days. So let's go back to Apple. Steve Jobs is dead and, you know, Android is open and an Apple software is not, you know, Apple software was all about, we are going to cater to you. We're going to pamper you. We're going to make computers seem like they're not computers. Originally it was phones, or excuse me, phone, <clears throat> songs in your pocket. And then it became songs in your phone in your pocket. Uh, and that was all brilliant and stuff, but they were too closed. And let's face it. It's no longer true that the good apps were on iPhone. Now the good apps are on Android because Android was open. So Apple was pioneering the way and they were doing it with Zen style innovation. That's the best technology is the technology you don't know you're using. And there's truth to that. that that's like true and stuff. But they weren't open and being open is very important. It's paramount. So. Apple is focusing on artificial intelligence and they're working with China. Now, I have my doubts about what artificial intelligence is. I think you're looking at the Antichrist. Remember that I said that. Artificial intelligence is going to be what the Antichrist will sell people to get the mark. That, that just, just in Jesse world, mark that down. I know. I know it's not going to go out in the headlines and I'm not going to put it in the title, but only you who listen to this actually heard it. And I'm not going to say it again. Artificial intelligence should be a smart computer that can learn and teach itself. But I think that, that what Apple and, and what big companies with China and others are going to be calling AI artificial intelligence isn't artificial intelligence. It's fake sentiency. It should be called FS, fake sentiency where they're going to try to make a computer look like it has a mind and soul and will of its own. And they're going to try to make it mimic humans and look at personality profiles and act and seem human. That's not artificial intelligence. That's something pretending to be sentient. Sentient means you're self-aware. I think, therefore, I am. You know, that's sentient. And so they're going to be making computers that are very good at mimicking certain personalities. They're going to want to take a computer and it's going to look at your Facebook profile and look at your emails and look at everything you've ever done and said, at least that, that they can record. And they're going to try to make that computer act like and sound like you. They may even try to make it a computer produce a video of your face talking. They're going to try to make computers perfectly mimic humans in a convincing way. And then they're going to try to argue that humans have a soul. I mean, that goes back to Akira. Uh, a, a, was it A 
I K R A the the R R I A the Ria is a Japanese film Akira. Um, I think people Americans probably say Akira because they like to mispronounce things. But th that you know the, the the Chinese name of Akira was Can Ghosts Live in a Machine, and that's what iRobot was about. That's what Star Trek was about. The the, the next generation. That's what uh, Star Trek Voyager was all about. It's, you know, art, you know, artificial intelligence, can it be sentient? Should it be treated as life? And the answer is no. Humans cannot create life equally valuable to humanity. And this new artificial intelligence, we're going to try to create a God religion that was started should be shut down and banned. It's evil. It's wicked. So, um, I, look, I'm all for computer research, but the argument that, uh, that, that a computer has a soul that should be treated with the value of a human, that that's dangerous, man. That's dangerous. Don't go there. That's that's not a good thing. And you need to be aware of that. Artificial intelligence should be like Jarvis or Friday, you know, the AIs that Tony Stark runs in his computers. And they are basic, they're computer programs that learn. That's what an AI should be. It should be a computer that's able to learn and teach and improve itself, but not something that's supposed to mimic humans and be regarded as sentient. I mean, you want to give it a good voice, that's okay. But, you know, not not with the aim of making it equal with humans and calling it God. That's dangerous. That's antichrist. And the goal is to give the AI rights over humans and enslave them. I'm telling you, you heard it here. And that's what I have to say about that. That's where Apple's going. But I think, you know, I mean, I wish them well in terms of technology research, but if not in doing any harm, I, ho I hope they do good with it. I, I hope they do good with it. And I hope that they have progress. But again, AI should not be here in order to... Uh, mimic humans. AI should be a machine that learns so it can help humans, but not something that becomes equal to humans. That's just, that's, that's ridiculous. Now, you know, I've, I've seen, the title of this podcast is On Q, or Everyone On Q. The masses don't seem to know this, but they're almost acting like an artificial intelligence. The Trump supporters and the Trump haters are all responding in major and minor tones and keys. As if on cue, Trump says something, his supporters, yeah, and the people who hate him, ha, oh, and it's, it's right on cue. And, and the, the Trump, the Trump haters, the, the people who just, they hate him so much. They don't realize they're being played like Stradivarius is, or Stradivari, whatever the plural of Stradivarius is. They, they're they being played like a harp and a symphony of harps. And they see that the, the people who don't like Trump seem to think that the only way you're controlled by someone is if you support him. And, and I don't see the masses saying uh, people who hate Trump and support Trump whenever he talks are being played. So you need to remain dispassionate towards someone. If you really love someone or really hate them, that's control. And I'm, you know what? I think I should just uh, summarize that point by getting to the point. I'm angry. So I'm going to throw apples at the hunter. He already hunts me and seeks to eat me. I'm going to annoy him and make it easy for him to find me. I'm going to act a fool because I'm mad. I'm going to tell myself that he doesn't treat me fairly so I can sleep at night. That attitude defines enraged masses who will never be happy unless they can hate being slaves. Don't join them. Instead of being angry at a dark world, be the sun that shines on it. Encourage people. Smile. Lift. Destroy darkness with light. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com